Well, welcome. Today's lesson is going to be on soybean grading. If you haven't watched the, uh, the previous two videos on wheat as well as corn, you may want to do that. Uh, so today what I want to do is kind of shorten the presentation a little bit so we can get right into the explanation. Well, one of the first things that you're going to have to do, step one essentially, is to fill out everything you can, like your first name, last name, the date, uh, your contestant or student number, and then the first thing you want to do from uh, pulling out uh, all of the uh, papers that were given you is the load analysis. The load analysis is really important primarily because it has all the basic information you're going to need to actually do the grading and then also do the discounts. So what you're going to do on this is make sure you first of all put the lot or ID number. That's typically on the load analysis. The other thing uh, is the kind of, uh, of grain that you're going to be seeing. In this case, it's going to be yellow uh, soybean. And then, of course, the base price. The base price of the market price isn't always on the load analysis. So please ask the room monitor or whoever's giving the test uh, what, is, what is that uh, number. And then go ahead and start uh, moving across. Um, normally it's uh, the test weight. The test weight is the amount of pounds each bushel weighs. And then just go ahead and put each one of those down as it is on the, the, the load analysis, like 13.2% uh, moisture content, 6% uh, of damaged kernels, and so on. Just keep on putting them all in the right place. Make sure that you understand that even if it has a zero next to it, you need to put that zero in also the amounts column as well. So make sure if it isn't listed, you don't have to put it on there at all. So uh, splits percentage is 18.7. And then of course there isn't any uh, other colors of soybeans. So you put a zero, but it, because it's in the load analysis, that needs to go there and so on. So once you get all of those, now, the other thing too is sometimes they'll put something in there like, in this case, stones. Please write it in the amounts column because that's going to be important, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, later on. In this case, there are three stones. And I'll get back to a little bit on what that, those numbers mean in just a moment. Now, the next step, step two, is going to be the actual grading itself. This document, the grading uh, chart, is put out by the USDA. Um, and you can get it online in the handbook section. Make sure you read it very carefully because all the grades and all the things in those that are important in those grades are listed either maximums or minimums. Make sure you read that carefully. As we go through it, first thing we're going to look at is, according to this, is we're going to look at uh, total damaged kernels. If you take a look at 6%, and if you look at the highlighted area, it's between grade three and grade four. So the maximum on grade three would be a 5%, but it's six, so you go to grade four and notice that it's eight. So it's between five and eight. And because it's already over grade three, it falls into grade four. As you can see right there, that's 6%. Now the next thing we're gonna do is let's look at the next one category. We're gonna look at foreign material and it's at 0.8%. If you look at form material, it's in a grade one if it's lower than um, 1%. In this case it is, but because the other one graded at four, you never go lower. Um, so it's gonna be staying at grade four. Even if everything else is grade one, it's still gonna uh, stay on grade four. The next thing we're gonna look at is splits. In this case, it's 18.7% splits in this load. If we look under splits in the USDA grading chart, you'll notice it's between 10% and 20%. It's over 10%, uh, but it's not more than 20, so it'd be in the grade two. But it really doesn't make any difference because we have a reading that um, put it in the grade four, so that's where it'll stay, and that's where we're gonna put it right up there on the USDA grade and kind. So it's US number one four, yellow soybeans. Now we're going to go into discount sheets. Now that we've got all the amounts listed according to the load analysis, now we're going to go in the column that says discounts. The first thing on the list, of course, is test weight. Our test weight falls at 51 pounds per bushel. So if you look at test weight on the, um, the discount 
side, you'll notice that it falls between 59.1 and 48 pounds. So we're going to get a one cent, one cent deduction. Now we're going to go to the next line and we're going to look at um, uh, moisture at 3.2. And if you look at that, it falls in the 3.1 to 3. Point, or excuse me, 13.1 to 13.5 category, which means there is a 1.5% deduction off the base price or the market price. Now, if you do the math, it comes out to 14 cents, but you have to basically multiply uh, 0.015 times your base price. And when you get that, that'll tell you what your uh, total deduction is in cents. We're going to move over to our damaged kernels. We're at 6%. Now notice it says above 5%, and we're at that. It's 4 cents per percentage. The PT means percentage. So we're one point over, or one percentage point over 5, which means we have a 4 cent deduction. As we move on, that goes to zero because there's zero heat damage ones and zero for material. And we just drop, keep on dropping those zeros because there are no uh, different colors. And then, of course, the stones are uh, zero deduction because it takes up to 10 stones, according to the USDA uh, grading sheet, to actually bring about any kind of uh, a load rejection. So we add up all of those in that column, in the discounts column, we get 19 cents. And we take 19 cents, subtract it from uh, $9.35 per bushel. That is our market price. So the check we're going to write to the grower today is $9.16 per bushel. That's what it will come out to be. So when we're all said and done, Every um, every one of these amounts, there should be one point for each one of those. So what you're going to do is add up the, the correct answers. That would be nine total points, which leaves 16 points for the kind and also grade. And if you have US, uh, number four and yellow uh, soybeans, that would account for 25 points. On the other side of the coin, on the discount side, you'll notice that we have uh, 10 slots or 10 areas in which you can be graded. One point for each one of those cells. That includes the base price all the way to our total discount. That means there's 15 points left for the final price. Well, that just about does it. Um, we're going to be uh, seeing you at Modesto Junior College. I gave another critique or lesson on this. And then at CRC, it's going to be part and count four, a uh, part of the test to get you ready for a state finals in Cal Poly. So if you have any questions, make sure you, you uh, send me out an email or contact me at one of the contests that, that's upcoming. And, and by the way, thanks so much for the uh, Atwater group to come in and greet me with the special name that Kevin gave me. Uh, that was so uh, sweet and special, but I'd rather you not kind of spread that around. All right. I hope to see you at the next contest. See ya. Bye.